So something that I've been noticing a lot lately is the emergence of not only weather, but also gold weather. And I just want to take a moment to examine why that might be. Now, I don't have like an exact answer, but it's just there's it's kind of like a three pronged. Uh, three, three reasons, three major reasons why that happened. And probably one of the bigger ones is. Or rather, I should say, uh, <clears throat> Specifically, the emergence of gold weather. Why did that happen when gold weather didn't really change? In fact, it's actually been kind of bad in the past after uh, their nerfs a while back. But uh, but in this patch, they suddenly got a whole lot better. And the reason for that is because mages are no longer auto includes and in decks. Uh, now, if you don't know what the mages are, the mages are. Each class has a silver card that can do three effects. Where's the one over here? Uh, like Gremis right here. He can spawn Fog, he can clear skies, which is the big one, or he can do Blood Curdling Roar. It's pretty good, right? Except the thing is, Gremis, I believe, did not change going into this patch, uh, whereas a lot of the cards around him very much did. A lot of the cards around him got buffed, he did not. So those other silver cards take precedence over Gremist, and with Gremis out, th there's no guaranteed clear skies and decks anymore. Uh, this is in addition to particular archetypes not being as popular. Like, for example, Skellige is less popular. Uh, Nilfgaard is less popular, and they usually take their mage. Uh, Monsters, uh, there's, they still have their mage sometimes. And then Northern Realms, I believe they their spots are a little bit too contested, so they don't take uh, Weather Clear. And Skoatau, what even is their mage? I actually forget Oh yeah, <laughs> nobody nobody plays there. <laughs> so there you have it. So that's the that's like one of the big things on why, particularly gold weather, has seen such a huge more emergence. In fact, one of the biggest archetypes in the game right now is movement Skoa Tau, and they also take movement. Uh, they also take gold weather, and th in addition to that, movement is a pretty powerful, not only disruption tactic, but it also they have a lot of synergies within their deck. For example, this new card right here, uh, Mac uh, Mahakam. Pyrotechnician, in addition to some of their other cards that gain uh, bonuses based on moving characters around, uh, also like Dole, Blathena. They have a lot of options for disrupting the opponent while also getting their own synergies, so it only makes sense to take Gold Weather because then you can spread your opponent's units around to get hit additional times. And since players aren't really taking mages, and by extension no one's taking Clear Skies, uh, even though they used to, because bronzes are stronger now and they're less uh, clear skies, less useful. Uh, and then there you have it. Then you have all these gold weathers because of so many different little changes. It leads up to one big change in which gold weather is emergent. And you'll see gold weather even in decks that don't really play it. And then so why does by extension, why is regular weather emerging? Like, for example, Air Frost Aridin is a pretty big archetype right now. Maybe not the most highest level, but it's definitely popular. Uh, and the reason for that is because people aren't taking their seagull row weather clears. For example, uh, it used to be this guy. Now it's like Kedwini Surgeon, I think. Where is he? There he is. Uh, nobody takes Kedwini Surgeon anymore. Or uh, they used to. Nobody takes quote unquote blue sky uh, blue stripe scout uh, because he's just not that good anymore. There's much better bronzes around him. Again, these other. These single row weather clears didn't really see a buff, or if they did, it was very small. Whereas the bronzes around them all saw pretty big buffs. So why would you take a lesser, a less good bronze when you can take a, just a better bronze, right? Similarly, cards like Nilfgaard. Uh, Nilfgaard is a pretty big one that was able to clear weather with being able to tutor out or near very nearly tutor out uh, the standard bearers. But now they're not uh, being played. Nilfgaard's not being played. Uh, whether monsters, do they even have a single row? Oh yeah, they do. They do. And sometimes you take you take that in if you're going up against a lot of mirror matches. And also, just in general, people just aren't really taking clear skies, which is actually kind of weird. I wonder why that is. I kind of just brushed it aside before because it was just well, I don't know. People just aren't taking it. But why is that? Is that because decks are more combo based more than they used to be? Is it because they're random and you don't want random? Huh? Why don't you take clear skies? That's interesting. I, that's something to think about because I actually don't know why off the top of my head. Why? Because I used to, I remember a couple months ago, it was not unusual to take two to three first lights. Uh, not only was it weather powerful, but also first light would just seem like a pretty good card. 
I guess because you're just not, you're straight up just not seeing enough weather. Do you take a first light just so you can counter the gold weather effect? Or do you try and negate the gold weather effect as much as possible and then just live with it? Because it's, I mean, it's gold weather. That's interesting. Something to think about. So that's pretty much it. So one big reason uh, mages are being played less, which means the emergence of gold weather goes up because there's not an automatic clear skies. Two, people aren't running their single row weather clears, which means uh, s sporadic weather effects like in Frost Aridon is not so good. That's why they take like six weather effects just in case. And then three, due to uh, the emergence of movement tactics, movement disruption tactics, uh, using weather becomes a lot less useful uh, if you're going if you're up against weather and it's a lot more useful if you have the movement effects and you're using weather. So a whole bunch of different things. Not any of them got a particularly big buff or nerf. It's just several things that all happened at once that made it happen the way it did. Thanks for watching.